Hi guys, welcome back to Hell Divers. Um, this guy's going to be about the, the Shredder nuclear missile and the freebie, which is the Hell Bomb. Now we'll go straight down to a, a bug planet. You can actually use the, um, the Shredder five times, even at level two. It's got a 210 second cooldown, so it's quite a biggie. But 126 when they use the stratagem priority. You can see here the advantages of using the Shredder to a Hellbomb. You can just throw it on the floor near your target, run away, and let it do its business. So that's a nice, simple, easy way of using it. Using the Hellbomb, when it's upgraded to level 3, you've still got 15 seconds to wait for it to drop, and then arm it, and then get away from the blast. Uh, this can get a little bit hairy at times. Um, against the Illuminates you wouldn't be able to use the static field. Clearly because the little spider walkers walk through the static field. It's good against the robots and the cyborgs and the bugs. But you can see when you're waiting for that bomb to drop, you've got a lot of defending to do. So with a shield on, that's going to allow you to not get held down by the, um, the ninja bugs there. So when they poison you, they slow you down. So it's definitely helping. You can see the way the bug comes out there. If you didn't upgrade the, the hell bomb to level three, probably would have um, you would have chomped on that bomb before I had a chance. So you want to level it up to level three to make sure that it's got a lot more resilience and a bit more armoured. That allows you to uh, allows the bomb to get detonated and not get taken out too quick. With a shredder, I know this is overkill, but you can see it's just a lot easier to throw it on the floor. And bang. And against the big bugs. A ram bug. Just chuck it next to him. And kaboom, he's dead. You can see the blast radius here takes him right out on the edge as well. So it does kill him even though they're miles away. And this here again, I've dropped the bomb. Timing's not perfect. Statics field gone. So I can't get back to that nuke to use it. So you can see the advantages and disadvantages of using a shredder or the hell bomb when you're walking around the map. Again, shredder, just get them in one place, drop it, and they're gone. Now as long as you have a objective left, you can use the hell bombs. So with the bug nests, the beacons, and the AA batteries. As long as one of those is still on the map, you can use the hell bomb because that's what they're free for, they're there to be used against the objectives. Now as long as you time it right, get them trapped in that static field, it allows you to use it. <clears throat> so again there, I get the static field down, make sure it just holds them back. Plant the bomb, get away. So it's pretty useful whilst you're running around. Definitely worth using a static field. Now I guess the cyborgs, very very similar because you can use the static fields against the cyborgs apart from the tanks. All you got to do is take down the shield so you can call in your shredder or nuke. Chuck it in the middle. Firing for effect. Nice and simple. And take it out. It's a lot less hassle against these AA batteries than I quite like doing. It's a good way of doing it. Now against the tank, you can see the tank's going straight through the static field. You want to make sure that you've got line of sight hidden, otherwise the tank's going to start getting you. Chuck it down on the floor, run away quick. And the tank's dead. You've got to be careful with the tanks though, the little laser cannons are very quick. So you this bit here. So I'll get behind the bush. Chuck the bomb on the floor. As the tank comes around, as soon as his laser touches me, boom. Gotta be really cool. Uh, what's coming to you, mister? Yeah. Kaboom! Nice to see him go down here. So, as you see with this one, chuck the bomb on the floor. Just break that line of sight from the enemy. Try to hold them up for just a few seconds. You can see the time ticking down for the shredder. Now you to get away. See here again, I've got the cyborgs trapped in the static field above. I'm using the Hellfire to keep them away from me. 
down again. You can just see that nicely in there. <laughs> Obviously, you don't want to stand too close, or you get killed as well. I repeat, now, against the Illuminates, it's a slightly different affair. You can't use a static field against the Spider Walkers, so you've got to be pretty careful in the way you do things. Now, with the beacons and their shields, it's a bit of a strange one. And then the shredder, obviously you can just chuck it next to the target. You can see how much resilience they've got, those shields. Shooting them, you've got to be careful against those ninjas, they come up and slice you quick. You can see here, I've killed it. Sorry, I've took the beacon down, but it's still standing. Maybe a bit of a bug. But if you're using Hellbomb, you've got to protect it again. You've got to protect that Hellbomb long enough. See, I'll get held up there. If the bomb had gone off, I probably would have died then. But spider walkers came up and chewed on my Hellbomb. So again, it's catch-22 whether you use the Hellbombs for free or use a Shredder. And as long as you can clear the enemy, it gives you a chance to drop one and do the objective. It all depends on whether you want to use a Stratagem or a Shredder. Which is a nice easy way of doing it. Again, you just drop it on the floor. Again, you can see the beacon's got its shield up. And complete objective. So it doesn't matter if the shield's up with the nuclear, it still will take it down. Now you can see here, if you've got a Mega Mine sitting there and there's a little Zorb. Yeah, I've got a shield on, but it still affects me. It disorientates you. And I've seen in the forum people saying if you've got a shield on, you don't get disorientated. Well, you do. Because it's happened to me quite a lot. As your proof. Um, but the thing is, you've got to watch those electric shock orbs coming out. They'll kill you in one. So the best thing to do is run away from him. I call them mega mines. Drop your bomb. Try and keep enough distance between you and your little Mega Mind before he does his little AoE. And it just misses me that time, gives me enough time to run, jump. It's pretty tough against the Illuminates because there's a lot going on. They're probably the hardest race to deal with. Now, <clears throat> finish on a good note here. You can't headbutt Rambo. <laughs> you can't headbutt him and kill him. You can't hide underneath. Next up, we're going to be looking at the AC-3 Arc Throw. Great weapon against it. Yeah, it's good. So, I'll see you again soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.